Okay, so we have the Roosters to talk about today. They've signed Kronk. I think that is an upgrade on Pierce by a long He is an upgrade on Pierce. Uh, he's a more calming influence. He's less. He's better behaved off the pitch as well. Um, in fact, he's an ambassador for the sport, and the sport could be proud of him um, and what he's done. And he, he's going to help players like Adila Napa, Adam Latrell, Latrell Mitchell, and other young players that the Roosters have. He's going to be a very calming, guiding influence for them. That Pierce wasn't. Pierce was too much of a loose cannon. Sean Kenny Dow had been let go and sent to Newcastle. Another brilliant move by the Roosters. They've started to get their act together with players who misbehave. They put a lot of effort into them and they keep misbehaving, so they've decided, no, away you go. Uh, so, that's some good, good, shrewd moves by ownership there and uh, and recruitment. They've done some good moves getting Kronk in. Uh, yes, they've also done Guerra, and that's a little bit of a damaging the pack, but Dylan Arpa can play 60 minutes and he's an animal. He will tackle everyone. And Nathan Friend running at hooker, he can play 80 minutes if he can. He's basically a baby Cameron Smith. Uh, I think he's been overlooked for Origin and international level a lot. He can move a pack around, and can, and having Kronk there is a brilliant move. They're gonna their combination is gonna be a, a, a joy to watch. And the Trail Metro play centre or fullback on the wing. Um, he's a tall, rangy player. He's he's a quicker version of Blake Ferguson. Blake Ferguson has played well, um, the last couple of years. But the Trail Mitchell is just that star player that Blake Ferguson isn't. And he's a future New South Wales blue star, and he's a future Australia star. In in in, in just he, he's just got to develop a few bits of his game, and Kronk is perfect for that. The team they have finished second in the ladder, got the semi finals footy. I'm sorry, this team is going to do better. I think it could be a Paramount of Roosters final. I really do. I honestly think they 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 are the two best equipped sides. I mean, Brisbane are going to be there as well, but these are the two best equipped sides to get to the grand final. Um, Melbourne Storm are gonna, I think find it harder to defend their title this year than in previous years when they've won it. I honestly think Melbourne Storm losing Kronk is going to be, yes they got Cameron Munster, but this side, they're now looking stronger than they were last year. Um, the Paramount side, I've done a story, I've done the video on that, I think Jared Hayne is going to be how he gels with every, bat their side's too balanced, I think throwing him in there could unbalance it, that's their weak point, is the Jared Hayne, he's the, he's the joker in the pack. With the Roosters, there is no joker in the pack because Kronk is a winner. And for a halfback, he can tackle as well. He's not a big man, but he can stop bigger men. He has shown it in the World Cup. He's shown it in State of Origin. He's shown it at club level. He can tackle. And most halfbacks on Mitchell Moses have had issues with their tackle. But Moses is coming on. Um, imagine that as a combination for the future. We'll see if Paramount can keep Mitchell Moses with salary cap issues. You can watch that space. Kronk will retire at the Roosters. I mean, I think two, three years' time, he will become a coach at the Roosters. He already is basically coaching on the pitch. You see him in matches, and they showed it in the World Cup, they showed it in State of Origin, they showed it in club games, where younger players or even other experienced players are coming up to him, and he's going, I want you to go here, I want you to go here, I want you to tackle, mark that guy when they have a set play. He's basically moving people around, forwards and backs. He doesn't care if you play ten years or two. He will move you around, and he'll go, right, this is what I think we should do here. So the coaches give him the licence to coach for them, basically, on the field. They will basically say, oh, I want you to do this. I want you to do that. Um, and, and you will get players in the right defensive, in the right attack. If he says, well, we've got a set player coming, it's going to come through me, and then it's going to skip you out go to him, or I want to have... He will do it. He is a great communicator. So he is their trump card. He's not a joke of the pack. He's their trump card because you know what you're going to get. At Paramount, you don't know what you're going to get with Hayne. But with Kronk, you know what you're going to get with him. He's a very brilliant signing. I think any team would have been happy to have him. Newcastle, I think he would probably done really good at Newcastle to bring all those young players on. He wanted to go to Sydney for family reasons. That is that is perfectly understandable. He could if he had gone to Newcastle instead of Pierce, and Pierce had gone Melbourne, I think either way, both teams are strengthened. Pierce is that little bit younger and has that uh, it could have developed. But either way, the the off season movement so far has been insane. There's still three, four months till the season starts. Um but looking at what the Roosters have I, I'm not going to list off their whole team, that would be insanity, but Latrell Mitchell is their young player to watch still. He's still an outstanding talent. He he is a, an equal of Greg Inglis, if not better. And Greg Inglis, thank God he's back playing again. He's back training after his bad injury and his, his health issues. It's great to see him back training again, but that's the comparison. Cooper Cronk doesn't have a comparison. He is the only one player like Cooper Cronk, that is him. I don't think any other halfback, maybe Gareth Woodup, I think, is one who could possibly match him in years down the line in a couple of years' time, could be at that level because they play together at Melbourne. Um, 
and hence why we ended up at St George is because Kronk didn't need replacing <laughs> really at the time but Widdop has learned as well so there are other halfbacks who played around Kronk um, who are basically like him but not on his level yet I think Widdop is probably the only halfback who plays similar to Cooper Kronk at, at times but then he also can run a lot more so it's, it's, it's really really interesting to see what happens now I think Paramount uh, Roosters could be the final grand final I really do um, the Roosters are going to be there and with Cooper Cronk, they're not going to choke it like they did last year. I think he's that leadership player they needed. He's a better leader on the pitch. Um, he's an all-round genius. I think he's gone under the radar a lot of the time. With Bear, Bear Money, with Slater and Smith as his ex-teammates, he's gone a lot under the radar. And people and teams don't take him as seriously as they should. He is an outstanding kicker out of hand. Um, he can do 40-20s, he can kick out of hand, he can kick early, he can kick on the last, he can run it. Uh, he can pass it. He, he's got every attribute that you want from a player. He's he's the ultimate player. I think he's the best player in the competition. I think he's better than Billy Slater. I think he's better than Cameron. I think he is the best player in the comp. I mean, Aiden Caesar and Blake Austin together make a Cooper Cronk, and they're both equally talented young players. If they can get to his level, then Canberra Raiders have a good future. Um, yeah, they've got a few injuries and salary cap problems. Uh, Hodgson and Baptiste. Baptiste, is he going? Is he staying? Hodgson, how long is he going to be out? In fourth, that's why Canberra are looking like they could struggle this coming season. I think the comp is going to be the closest comp it's ever been. Um, I, I honestly believe it's going to be really hard to get in the final eight, but I think the Roosters are the best equipped team to possibly win the comp. I really believe that. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. And tomorrow I will do a Melbourne Storm video. Uh, it's been a pleasure doing these videos. Um, I'm coming up to New Year's now. Uh, it's It has been a pleasure. Thank you for watching them. Um, and I have no doubt that these NRL season previews, people will still watch them going into next year. Um, and I will do... A uh, video on the Auckland Lions. I'm going to do a video on the history of the NRL, a brief history, if I may, and I see and a year in review and a year preview as well for what's coming up. So thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe, place your comments below, and I'll have some more videos for you tomorrow.